More than 15,000 runners from across the world hitting the finish line as Sunday marked Miami Marathon's 20th anniversary. People from all over different countries, different states, uh, all ages, which was that was impressive to me, seeing people from like 15 years old all the way to 60, 70. The marathon started in front of the FTX Arena in downtown Miami, went over to Ocean Drive through Art District, and back around through Coconut Grove. A lot of people were wearing the shirts, their, their, their actual country, uh, Colombia, Ecuador, I seen Peru, Mexico. The staff sharing how they motivated the successful runners. I give everybody credit for coming out. I mean, it's a hot day in Miami. My particular job was to ride a big bike around with advertisements and play music to motivate the people. And the runners showing us they've been training for weeks, months, and even years, hoping their hard work will pay off today. I started training in October, um, and then I've done like a race, one or two races every month leading up to this. Probably around the 20th half marathon I've done, and then I've done 10 full marathons. Sharing the turnout they've seen in Florida. Running community, especially in Florida, is wonderful and everyone's super supportive. It's a great community to be a part of and it's a great cause. And this is a beautifully run race and it's very scenic. And I mean, I couldn't be happier with it. And the marathon was joined by first responders who also took part in the event. Amazing. And we were very moved with the first responders as well. Just like, I mean, they do so much already. And then to just even put more in just shows the heart of the people in this community. As they serve those around them while running for a cause. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, Zitlali Solach.